feeling better? Yes. So your new medicine made you feel a little weird today, but you're feeling normal now? Okay, good. So I'm like palling around with us. All right, you got your stuff ready? Yep. Okay. Yikes. It's a rough morning. It's a grody, yucky, nasty day out there. And um, Arabella wasn't feeling very great this morning. She started something for her anxiety. And uh, this morning she said she felt sick. And I think she just didn't understand the feeling. So we think she's okay. But uh, I just took her to school. It's 9 o'clock now. The only thing I have planned today is to do nothing so excited. I don't want to do a thing today. I had a couple of meetings. Um, I had at least one uh, long meeting scheduled, but I canceled it because that person wasn't feeling good and she needs to rest and she needs to get better. And then I am going to go run over to the school board right now because it's right behind me and find out some info on substitute teaching and uh, not that we need the money or anything, but I feel like it would do my kids good to have me kind of in the school every once in a while. But we're going to check out those regulations, and then I'm going to go back home, and I'm going to sit on my tail, and I'm going to do almost nothing. So I changed my mind. I'm going to go into Kroger here because, can you see that? Because um, I want salad and soup today. It's such a grody, nasty fall day, and uh, it's not even that cold, but I know the kids are going to want soup. And I want some salad, so I have to go get some stuff for that. I'm gonna do it myself. Uh, why not? <laughs> some bananas did not get rung up. Yeah, isn't it? I know the answer what I'm gonna ask you. See, I have the shoes. Possibly. Let's ask Daddy. Dude, your shoes are so cool. Well, I was saying that you would say no. No. I'd rather you have it when nobody's home than um, you get your time without being bothered. Yeah, I am right. How was your day? Oh, good! I like to hear it. Come on, high five me. Coming up. Gently, hurt arm. Boom. Thank you. Boomer miss. This side. Well, on this side. Right. So wait, is right. it color changing bracelet? Blue. Yeah, it's changing into blue right now because wow. it was so cold on the bus. Yeah. Why'd you get a bracelet? Did you do something good? No, I just went to this thing at at the gym. It, Gym. <laughs> that's zoo and a gym. Yeah. Was it a health fair? Uh, yeah. How, how, how did you know? Because I think I had it on the calendar. Well, it was. Okay. <laughs> Can I see my hair? It's because I just slept for like three hours. Thank goodness the sun came out. Now I can function. And this rain and the weather is killing my lupus. Lupus sucks. You got it? <laughs> You're so funny. Where are you gonna put it? Huh? Right there? Okay. Get your bone. Let's take it. Type I O. Oh, Agario. D. That's what we call it. D. No, I'm not. I am Just call it Agario. Hey, 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 my seat. Agario. My seat. Don't you hit your sister. Hey, guys. Um. I know I haven't filmed a lot today, but I wanted to um, talk about, man, I have so much fear in my heart right now. Uh, with this election coming and with the way the world is treating each other, and um, I got a call from my mom, and I have five brothers, and my little brother, he's not little, I mean, he's 30 years old, 34 years old, 35? Maybe, but he's in the Navy and he's on a um, battle, not a battleship. What is he on? He's on a carrier right now out in God knows where, but I know he's not safe and uh, he can't tell us anything, but he wanted us to know that he's okay, but I know he's not because just the insinuation and I worry about him and he tries so hard to make us feel like he's safe and I know that he we're members of the we're Mormon and uh, we believe that you can be protected and things like that but I just worry about him every day you know the military is such an amazing thing we have so many military people in our family and I'm so glad that it's that we have it but 
I just wish always that I knew he was safe, but I can't talk to him. He tried to call me with two days ago and I've been emailing him trying to make sure he's okay and telling him that I'm scared for him and I'm just scared for the world. And, uh, but he's, he emailed my parents. He did say he was all right. He said, there's a lot going on that is tumultuous, but just that fear. I try really hard not to let it creep in and give me anxiety, but you know, you want to protect your family, especially my little brothers. And I know he's not so little, he's bigger than me, but I want to protect them just like I do my own kids. So anyway, if you're watching this, I'm sorry that it's a sad video, but I hope that you stop and say a little prayer for our military that they can feel safe and protected and that God can be with them. And you got a letter. You want to open it? You know who it's from? You look over here. What's that say? Miss Nash. Your old teacher? Open it up. Please, please write to me anytime. I would love to hear how things are You're going kitty cat. for you. Can you help? It says you, you. Maybe she missed out. No, no.